before we get started, I would like to uh, thank the 8-Bit Beast for making this tool-assisted speedrun. He did a wonderful job. It's very entertaining. Um, so I guess we can get started. I'll count down from 10 and 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Let's get started. So, right away, there's nothing too special here. Metroid is a game where you have to collect the resources to destroy Mother Brain. You are on the planet Zeebies, playing as Samus. And so, very simple, right off the bat, we are just going right up through here. We are going to go all the way to Craig's Layer, first thing. But we might not do it in the ways you expect. See, right here, we're doing a door glitch, which involves clipping into the door, and then um, screen wrapping it into the wall by clipping into it. And as you can see, we're already on the elevator very quickly, almost in no time. It would take you a lot longer if you didn't do it. Just like that, we're already in Craig's Lair. So now we are falling all the way down here. And this allows us to set up for another door glitch. And we are just going to go all the way back up through here. And now you can see we are going the wrong way, going straight through there, clipping through there, doing another screen wrap. We're gonna keep falling, we're gonna do another door glitch, keep on going up. We're going to keep screen wrapping and going down. Keep on going down. And morphing and going up the wall. And we clip into that door just a little bit so we don't have to um, break the door open to get to Kraid, and we are just going to mash bullets right into him and kill him in no time. Now right there, if you take a second controller and plug it in and press up and A at the same exact time, the game will kill you and this allows us to get all the way back to the elevator really quickly. It saves a bunch of time. So we don't have to backtrack as often. Second thing we're going to do is now we are going to go back into Brinstar and we are going to go get the ice laser beam. Not much done here, just some platforming. All very simple, some damage boosts there. We're going to do another climb. Nothing complicated right here, all very simple. Just some pretty precise platforming. Tool assisted run standard, absolutely perfect. Another, we're gonna go through that door. Pretty simple. I think we have time for a donation. Okay, we currently don't have any donations, but I just want to remind you guys of those incentives, so make sure to head over to taskgiving.org and check those out and get those donations in, guys. All right, perfect timing. We're already doing another door glitch. We're going to get to the bottom of this section right here very quickly. And uh, if I recall correctly, this is the room before the ice beam. Now, if you notice already, you can see that we are... Um, killing enemies every now and then. This is to reduce lag since this game is not the most clean when it comes to performing well. There's a lot of lag. And you will see that when we, uh, in the final sections of this run when we're in Torian, which we're not, yeah, Torian, which we are going to right now.
all very simple. See if we can just killing some enemies, get some resources there. Nothing much. All very simple platforming here. Alrighty, we're done with climbing right there. Gonna walk through this room. Now, I'm going to talk about some of the movement mechanics here. You can see that we are jumping as minimally as possible. That's because jumping is only 75% of the speed of regular walking, so we want to jump as least as possible. Now, right here, we hit that enemy on the highest spot we can right there, and then morph and unmorph to clip through those blocks right there. It's um, a very difficult trick. Not a problem for a task, though. Now we're in Torian, you can see all these Metroids here. We are going to um, try to do some manipulation with them, I'm pretty sure, to reduce as much lag. As you can see, sometimes we just walk into the lava and then jump right after it. This saves a little bit of time there at the cost of some health. I already mentioned that jumping is slower than walking, so you don't want to jump as fast as possible. I mean. You don't want to jump more times than you already should. I made a mistake there. Nothing too complicated here. Now, going into this room. Now sometimes you can see if you hit while well, if the Metroid sticks to you, but you hit it with the ice beam at a specific play at a specific time, it's pretty precise. It you won't take damage. Now as you can see, we are in Mother Brain's room, taking down these little barriers right here. This section is extremely laggy. You can see the music even uh, glitches out here. It's pretty brutal right here. But now we're at Mother Brain, we're just going to hit her as fast as possible, no problem. Uh, you can see the lag has stopped right here. And now she's dead, and she's destroyed, and now we have to escape. And this section is very precise, it's a pretty big run killer. Of course, um, it's a tool assisted run, precise platforming is no problem, it's absolutely perfect. And, uh, not much else to say here. And we're already done. Pretty quick. Um, i like to thank the 8-Bit Beast, Beast, I can't pronounce anything right today, for doing this run. He did a very great job. It's one of my favorite runs to watch. It's very short. Um, I'd like to, uh, thank Task Videos for posting these runs, and having, thank you for Task Giving for having me here today. It was uh, very fun to commentate. Hopefully I did well.